fabulous people welcome to the channel for all the babes who create their own life trends my name is Anastasia and for those of you who are new to my channel I'm a personal stylist in Rome Italy and today I'm going to share with you what to wear in fall in Italy this has been one of the most requested videos on my channel lately and I'm so happy to finally sit down and share all the information with you. I will break it down to you by months, so by the end of this video you will know exactly what to pack for Italy in fall, as well as some Italian style tips and tricks for all my fashionistas out there. Now before we begin, please remember to smack that like button and if you are new to my channel and my vibe, and the vibe of this channel resonates with you please consider subscribing. All right, fabulous people, let's start packing. Now, let's begin with some guidelines, so to speak, before you start packing. The first thing that you need to keep in mind that the keyword for packing for Italy in the fall is layering. Layering is going to be your best friend, ladies and gentlemen, because you have to remember in Italy in fall, during the early mornings and late evenings, the temperature drop is quite significant. And during the day, you will still have beautiful warm weather. And of course, one thing that you need to keep in mind that the more up north you go, the more drastic temperature change is going to be between early morning, midday, and evening. So you have to keep that in mind when you start packing for Italy. Another tip that I have for you as a stylist is before you put everything into your suitcase, make sure that all the items are easily mixed and matched between each other. It is very important so early in the morning you don't have to stand in front of the mirror trying to figure out what to wear, what goes with what. And the golden rule, my styling tip that I always recommend to all of my clients is to make sure that for every bottom you have at least three different top options. All right, now before we transition into the months, specific months, let me also mention what not to wear in Italy so you can save some space in your suitcase. All right, so number one, outdoorsy outwear. And I'm talking about things like North Face, windbreakers or ski jackets. Italians simply do not wear those things unless, of course, they're going hiking or skiing. But in big cities, wearing those things are a big no-no. The second thing, I know, I know, activewear. Italians simply do not wear activewear outside of the gym or a park. So you decide for yourself, but if you do not want to stand out in Italy as a tourist, I strongly recommend to leave those Lululemons at home. All right, guys, number three is a baseball hat. Yes, baseball hat in Italy is also worn just like an activewear in the gyms. So I'm just a messenger. You do with that information what you guys want to, but this is just something that I would keep in mind when packing for Italy. And number four is a pair of leggings. Another item that is so commonly worn in the US or Canada outdoor but in Italy is not common. You do not see a lot of Italian women wearing leggings outside. Now let's talk about what to wear in Italy and break it down by month. Let's begin with September in Italy. September, just like October, are two busiest months of the year for Italy and mainly because of its weather. It will vary a bit from north to south, but most of the days you will still feel like summer without the humidity of August and rain showers of November. Overall, don't expect much rain, if any. So for September, I recommend to pack more or less a summer wardrobe, especially if you're traveling to Italy the first part of September. 
that means make sure that you're packing linen shirts, t-shirts, pants, summer dresses, sandals, and if you want more details on exactly what to pack, then I have an amazing video guide for you what to wear in summer in Italy that you can use as a reference as it has all the details. The second part of September is very similar to the first part, so definitely make sure to pack all those items that I just listed the only difference is that in the evenings, you will definitely feel the temperature drop. So in addition to those items, I do recommend to pack some warmer options like a light cardigan or a scarf to cover your shoulders during the evening time. Now let's talk about October in Italy. If you're traveling to Italy in October, let me tell you, you guys are definitely in for a treat. Of course, temperatures do vary from north to south again, but overall, you will find sunny days and pleasant temperatures, which makes it a perfect weather for sightseeing in Italy. So with that said, for the first half of October, I would definitely pack a nice mix of clothes, as the days will be pleasant and warm, and then the temperature will start to drop quite significantly during the evenings. So make sure that you bring a good mix, including t-shirts, light shirts, cotton pants, jeans, loafers, and then for the evening times, I would definitely pack blazers and cardigans. Now, in the second half of October, the rain tends to be more frequent. Usually, these are short showers, so you can always use this time to explore a museum or a church. For this part of October, you will need an umbrella, which most hotels and Airbnbs will provide for you, and a trench coat, a cardigan, and or a blazer. Definitely don't forget a pair or two of tennis shoes, loafers, and or boots. This is also a perfect time to start wearing a leather jacket if you have one, or of course you can get one here. And if you want to follow Italian fashion, then I strongly recommend to pack some scarves, as you will see a lot of Italian men and women incorporating scarves into their fall wardrobe. So during the second half of October, you will see people wearing warm jackets, leather jackets, trench coats, and at the same time, people who are wearing t-shirts and shorts. So you will see all kind of fashion, big mix, but what I recommend for you to pack is a nice mix of clothes but more on a warmer side. Now, for all my fashionistas out there who love Italian style and wonder how to dress like an Italian, please keep in mind that Italians dress seasonally. And that means you will not see Italians in October wearing shorts or sandals. By that time of the year, they fully transitioned into fall winter attire. And that means pants, jeans, nice warm tone sweaters like beige, brown, and of course loafers and boots. Now, as a stylist, let me give you my professional opinion on boots because a lot of you ladies reach out to me and ask me, Anastasia, when is it acceptable for me to pack my boots for Italy? Now, let me tell you, if you are coming to Italy at the end of September, beginning to mid-October, you are more than welcome to pack already your boots. The only thing what I would do is to pack ankle boots and Chelsea boots. I would avoid at that time of the year to wear knee-high or over-the-knee boots. It's not quite the season for those type of boots yet. Now, finally, let's talk about November in Italy. November is Italy's rainiest month. It's not the coldest months of the year, but this is definitely not the time to bring your suede loafers and instead pack water resistance boots. This is also the perfect time to start wearing your knee-high or over-the-knee boots 
one thing that I do want to recommend here is that I would opt for block hill for more stability on those cobblestones. Now, when it comes to clothes, especially for those of you who plan to travel to Italy during the second half of November, I would still bring a nice mix, but definitely with more of an accent on a warmer wardrobe. And by that, I mean wool pants, cashmere sweaters, coats, and boots, of course. And for those of you who've been asking me how to book a private personal styling or personal shopping session with me here in Italy, I will leave you a link in the description down below, or you can always send me an email. I will make sure that my editor leaves it somewhere here or here so you guys can contact me directly. And of course, I'm looking forward to styling all of you it doesn't matter men or women i work with everyone from all over the world and i'm looking forward to meeting you all now before you go and start packing for italy if you haven't done so already please remember to smack that like button and if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you please consider subscribing and i truly hope to see you all in my next video